Today we celebrate the life of Pope St. John the Twenty-Third, born Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli at Sotto il Monte in Italy in 1881. He was elected Pope in 1958. He died in 1963 in Rome and was beatified by St. John Paul II in 2000. He was the fourth child of 14, born to pious parents. His religious education was entrusted to his godfather, who instilled in him a deep love and admiration of the Lord. Entered the minor seminary at age 11, became a secular Franciscan, and then entered the seminary. Ordained in 1904, he was appointed secretary for the bishop and then taught in the seminary. His great friends among the saints during this formative period were St. Charles Borromeo and St. Francis de Sales. He served as a military chaplain during World War I and as a spiritual director of the seminary, and then in 1921 serves as the Italian president of the Society for the Propagation of the Faith. In 1925, Pius XI made him a bishop and sent him to Bulgaria. In 1935, he was assigned to Turkey and Greece. During the Second World War, he used his diplomatic means to save as many Jews as he could. He was created a cardinal in 1953 and was a much-loved pastor. Elected Pope on the death of Pope Pius XII, he was an example of a pastoral pope, a good shepherd, who cared deeply for his sheep. His greatest act as pope, however, was undoubtedly the inspiration to convoke the Second Vatican Council, which he opened on October 11, 1962. Pope John's spirit of humble simplicity, profound goodness, and deep life of prayer radiated in all he did. That's why they called him the good Pope John. He was canonized by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square in 2014. Alongside the man who beatified him, Pope St. John Paul II. Two great popes, two great saints. Pope St. John the Twenty-Third, the smiling pope. <laughs>